What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again. Today we're going to be talking about building a mining rig or specifically the PC components you're going to want to be looking at when building a mining rig, so stick around. To start things off, I just wanted to clarify that everybody knows you need graphics cards and choosing which graphics cards you want to pick is up to you. Of course, I recommend if you're going to go with NVIDIA, go with all NVIDIA. If you're going to go with AMD, go with all AMD. Now there are solutions such as the Claymore Dual Miner, which I use, which will let you use both in conjunction together, but it does provide a point of failure that could make the mining unreliable, so I highly advise against it. The part that I want to clear up though are some of the misconceptions on the base components that people are running, particularly how much power you really need in your processor and uh, system memory. So let's start though with the motherboard because it is one of the most difficult things to pick out. The motherboard is going to be difficult because you need to make sure that it's going to support the amount of graphics cards you want as well as all the features you want. The reason I like MSI or the Z270A Pro like I have back here is it does have a feature in the BIOS where you can turn on 4G decoding. What this will allow you to do is detect more than four graphics cards easier when you are in Windows 10 specifically for mining in particular. Now that doesn't mean that every MSI board that has this feature in the BIOS will support that. For example, the gaming M3 motherboard does not support having more than six GPUs in a system. This is because if you plug in PCI slots three or two and three, it turns off PCI slots four and five. You can find this by going to the motherboard manufacturer's website and pulling up the motherboard manual and making sure you look through it and read for anything that says if you turn this feature on or if this feature is enabled, then you turn off PCI E one, two, three, etc., and so on. Another example of this to watch out for is in the ASUS BIOS. If you're having issues detecting more than four GPUs, it could be that you have USB 3.1 enabled and you need to disable that. You can also find that out in the motherboard manual. One of the things I really like about building a mining rig or talking about building one is the fact that if you are already like building gaming PCs, for example, you might not really realize how to min-max your system quite. And the the importance of that is quite high with mining and building a mining rig and so I find it to be a very rewarding and very good learning experience for everybody involved. You're going to want to make sure that you build for exactly what you need and nothing more so that you can get to your return on investment as fast as possible. So that being said, the next thing that we're going to talk about is the processor. Now, some processors might have a harder time allowing or supporting more than four graphics cards in the operating system. So you want to take a careful look at that. But because I don't really want to get into third gen processors or anything like that old so you guys can find stuff easier, I'm really going to only address Cabby Lake and Sky Lake. And the best bang for your buck is actually just going to be a G4400, which I'll leave my Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Yes, that does mean if you purchase from there, you're personally helping me out because I will get a kickback there. So please, if you are looking at doing this build, click that down there. Now, you don't need that much processing power. The only time this is really going to slow you down is probably on boot times if you're using a Windows 10 system. In the Linux OS, I haven't noticed any kind of hang on boot times and everything goes by pretty smoothly and it's not that big of a concern. But the reason you also might want to keep the Windows 10 thing in mind is for the memory. Now, if you're going with an older system, like a Z77, I would say you could use Linux and you could drop below one, two gigabytes of memory. But because of ease of use and troubleshooting, Windows 10 might be the solution for you. And you could even run it unactivated for at least testing purposes if you're trying to, you know, get cards detected, etc., etc. Now, I did go over a little bit of the OS options in my five tips for mining, which you can check out here for further information on that. That being said, that's why I would also recommend going ahead and only picking up four gigabytes of 
what I would say is value RAM. So you only need 21, 33 megahertz. I go with the Crucial, which is gonna run you about $30. And I will leave a link to that in the description below as well. So total with motherboard, processor, and memory, you're only looking at about $200, so that's pretty cheap. The bulk of your investment should be in the graphics cards and everything else should be as minimal as possible, in my opinion. Of course, this is should be your opinion as well if you're doing this to actually make money or profit off of this venture. The next more difficult thing that we're gonna talk about is going to be the power supplies. When you're looking for power supplies, try to get the highest efficiency rating you can because whenever your efficiency rating is poor, you're going to increase the amount of power that's being drawn from the wall. Let's say you have like an 80% power efficiency and you are pulling 800 watts from the system or that's what the system needs to run but the power supply has an 80% efficiency rating, so it pulls 20% more or something like that from the wall, you're pulling an additional almost 200 watts from the wall and paying for that on your power bill and therefore decreasing the amount of money you're making or you know, increasing the amount of time before you reach your return on investment. That being said, pretty much any platinum or titanium you can pick up is going to be what I would recommend. And then going ahead and picking up a 1200 watt or more. Now this is because I would assume you want to run the most amount of GPUs in the system as you can. And if you're running something like a six GPU system, it's not uncommon to see that pull close to a thousand watts from the wall. This is of course going to be graphics card dependent and all kind of based on what particular GPUs you're running and of course at what overclocks you're running them at, et cetera, et cetera. Now the other option or like what I have done over here is I've run two 750 watt power supplies. The catch here is if you're going to do something like that, you will need to jump the pin 16 and 17, I believe it is, on your 24 pin motherboard connector for the power supply that you do not have hooked up to the motherboard so it will power on when you flip the switch. If you are going to do this option, please make sure that you go ahead and get a power supply that actually has an on off switch. Otherwise it could be quite tricky and you could short something out. Either way, the dual power supply solution I don't recommend unless you already have some electrical knowledge and you feel pretty confident that you understand what that process entails. Now I talked a lot about power consumption and I think the next thing you're gonna to wanna to pick up is going to be a kilowatt. The kilowatt is going to show the amount of power the system is drawing from the wall. Essentially you put the kilowatt between the plug from the PC and the wall socket and then you can monitor the amount of power it's pulling from the wall. This is gonna be useful in calculating your return on investment and you can use a website called Crypto Compare to figure that out. Also for whatever area or region you are living in, go to your power company's website and check out the cost of the kilowatt per hour and that will help you compute exactly how much earning potential you have. The other thing that you can't really measure though here is going to be your AC power costs and here in Texas it gets pretty damn hot and throwing off all the heat from the mining rig makes that a lot worse which means I'm paying some extra cost in just cooling the house. Now what I've done to kind of counteract this or be able to monitor it is I have checked the power consumption of a portable AC unit and then calculated that into my earnings potential to make sure I'm not losing any money. Finally, you're going to have the PCIe extenders and you're gonna to wanna to be looking for powered PCI extenders. And they will look something like this here. Basically, you're gonna have a by 16 slot with a four pin Molex power to a pretty much SATA power. And then you will have a USB connector that runs down to a by one connector that plugs into the motherboard. Now, unfortunately, there's not really a solid company that makes these, so I have no suggestions. My best suggestion is buy from a verified retailer like Amazon and try to buy first party. So like an Amazon Prime Now, check that or Prime, Amazon Prime checkbox. Make sure Amazon is the seller, that way you have a recourse in case you get bad ones. I already have two bad ones, so 
that's what I'm going to recommend. I will put a link to the ones that I had the best luck with in the description below, but I can't guarantee that those will work. So, you know, if you guys know of any really good ones that work every time, definitely leave some comments to help everybody out in the comment section below. You want to get about a six pack of them if you're doing like a six GPU rig and then probably buy a couple extras just in case some go out so you're not down uh, from mining with any particular GPU if that does happen or if one fails. So that is all of the components, the case itself, you know, make a decision, build your own, use an egg crate, use something. I will do a kind of measurement and build out of my personal case or open air mining rig case here that I built out of wood in the future so definitely hit the subscribe button for that hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe as well and i will see you as always next tuesday or thursday probably thursday but i'll see you next tuesday